you found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. In the future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life. From Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBNRadio.com. Jump off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. Her mission, to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, love, laugh, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Fenn on UBNRadio.com. You are tuned in to my weekly talk radio show out of the Sunset Gower studio. My name is Dr. Marissa and you're listening to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at naturally high noon here at Universal Broadcasting Network. And we're back in the studio. We were fabulous this weekend out at the Conscious Life Expo at the LAX Hilton. And I had a blast. Special thanks to all the people who read my aura, my palm, my career cards, Dr. Theory, D. Wallace, uh, the mom of E.T. And we just had a blast. And especially to the, if I can get it right, the Casilia True Alignment Group, too, for all the work that they did on my back. And they're going to be a sponsor. So we'll talk about them more later and a peace shout out i got the nicest message on linkedin this morning from marciello out and he said dr marissa all of us here in new york city and california love you so i love you all back thank you so much and if you are um listening on thursday night you know i am now syndicated on nbc news radio kcaa am 1050. So if you're if you uh, have friends who are going to miss today, they can always listen on Thursday. And it is, if you can see from the color and the style of my dress, I am wearing a chi pal because this weekend is not only Valentine's Day, it is Chinese New Year coming up and coming up as the year of the sheep and the ram. So, or a goat, <laughs> they, they sort of combine those animals. And if you are going to be 12, 24, 36, or 48, this next year is for you. And what they're saying about this next year is it's going to be rich in positive emotions and intoxicating amorous affairs, which is why I'm also wearing red because to celebrate Valentine's Day, or if you are not with a partner, it is Single Awareness Day coming up. I brought to you my Valentine's present, someone who's been here already three times. She's been on Oprah four times, and she's now going to be on the Asian Oprah show four times. By the way, Stay to the end, and the uh, Asian Oprah giveaway is a facial, so stay to the end of the show for that. But let me tell you about one of my favorite guests who gets so much love from Dr. Marissa listeners. She is dubbed the love doctor by the LA Times. Dr. Pat Allen has been on Oprah, as I said, four times. CNN, Geraldo, Maury Povich, KTLA, every news station that you can imagine and is the resident sex therapist on Bravo's hit show, The Millionaire Matchmaker. Patty Stanger is a student of hers and and uh, talks about her. In fact, I had David Cruz on here a couple of sexual healing uh, series ago, and he was waxing her praise as well. Her best-selling book, Getting to I Do, is in its 30th printing and has helped thousands upon thousands of people all over the planet uh, straighten out their love life with thought-provoking questions like, do you want to get laid or get paid? <laughs> and advice like, don't go to bed without a contract. Yes, this will be an R-rated episode. So if you're in the library listening, move somewhere where you can laugh out loud and sometimes with embarrassment, as I will be doing because every time she comes on with me, she rakes me over the romance coals. But there's nothing like what Pat Allen says to you that can't straighten out your love life. So that's why I have her on every year. Please help me welcome, without further ado, Dr. Pat Allen. Hello, my 
my favorite love teacher. Dr. Pat, <laughs> did we lose her? She's probably still on mute because I asked her to be on mute over the intro. Okay, Dr. Pat, we'll, we will continue to try to get you on. Um, if you can hear me, I want to just remind you that. You. Oh, there we are. Yay. Um, I'm going to yeah, remind. Stay on the phone. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. So we are going to be replayed on Thursday on NBC. So just to warn you, my FCC people are going to find me. So um, usually you can say anything you want. But today, if you could help me out and not say the FCC rule violators. Okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> the language that will get me a twenty thousand dollar fine on NBC. I uh, I will speak <laughs> like a nun. <laughs> No, I don't want you to do that either. Then it wouldn't be you. You know, Oprah calls you the comic mother superior. You know that, right? Yes, I know that. Yeah, I, I th and I know why. So, yes, my, my sound engineer and assistant producer is so excited to have you on. He didn't get the connection until he saw the pictures that were flashing up of you. So welcome back. How's your year been? It's been just fine. I'm doing... I'm doing a lot of interesting things. Tell me. And I, well, if you want to know, I'm on LA Talk Radio. I have my own show on Friday night. Wonderful. I didn't know you started that again. Yes, we oh. just started it last week. Fantastic. What time? 7 to 8 o'clock California time. And it's on from, it's on uh, drpatallen.com. Dr. It's an Pat internet show. Mm -hmm. And I answer questions. Fabulous. So this so is. So I'm glad to support you and your show. Aww, thank and you. And I'm glad you're allowing me to say my show. Absolutely. In fact, I should have gotten to you sooner. Maybe we can get her over at Universal Broadcasting Network. I didn't know you were shopping. I would have snagged you. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yes. All right. So, um, and you are an, another young year older. Is this the year of the sheep for you? Are you a sheep or a goat? The what? Are you born in the year of the sheep or the goat? Do you know Chinese uh, astrology? I really don't know. Oh, okay. uh, 1934, 80 years ago, I have no idea which astrological sign I was okay. under. I'll have to look that up for you. So that, you, would, be, that would be very interesting. Yes. It, it, actually, maybe Jarvis can do it while we're talking. But uh, you, you're you 80 now? I thought you were only 74. Why did I think you were 74? You're a, you're a young 80? I can Pardon? Hear, I can hear your phone uh, going. I'm uh, trying to turn off my phone. <laughs> no problem. You're 80 years old this year? There. What? You're 80 years old this year? You're not 80. I thought you I'm were. I'm 8 0. Wow. You're 8 0? That's. I, I, I thought. I was impressed because I thought you were 73 I or hope, 74. I hope you're on a show sometime when you're 80 and they say, don't use the F word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's like. Being young forever. Yes, you are. You're you're a great role model. Immaturity model helped me. me a great deal. Maintain my childhood. <laughs> yes, and your your advice for I don't know anybody who hasn't listened to you, but just in case no, no I one's... don't give advice. I teach virtue through science. Virtue through science. I do science. not give advice. Okay. I choose to believe that God works through nature. All I'm right. not a pantheist, but. I do believe that nature tells us exactly how to do, especially in the area of sexuality. Okay. So I teach virtue through science. So, so what did you learn from nature? That that is. What I learned from nature is basically there's got to be the courty and the courtor. In other words, somebody's got to chase somebody. When two people chase each other, they're just a couple of rams. Bashing heads. Okay. So someone's got to be the pursuer and someone's got to the be, be the pursuee. Only if they want a successful courtship. Okay. If they don't, then they don't follow nature. And many people are, quote, hooking up. Hooking up is so much equality that it dulls romance. Hmm. But you, I've heard you say that it's okay to take a lover on, though. 
uh, it's okay to take a lover on if he's been your burnt out lover from the past, an ex-husband, an ex-boyfriend, who you know deep down in your heart you tried to build something, Mm -hmm. and now all you are is friends. Okay. Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits, right. Okay. I'm not a moralist. I'm a therapist. Okay. What you do is your business, right? right? So you don't have, so there's no judgment, because I have women all the no. time, all the time no they say judgment. to me, how, how oh. is it possible to have a friends with benefit relationship without feeling um, bad about myself? Uh, you have a lover if you're waiting for the right man, if you've got the right man, but he's not in fruition yet, mm-hmm. and you're a horny lady. <laughs> okay, so if you're a horny lady... And that's what it takes. Libido comes in different percentages for each person. There are couples that have sex once a month, and they're totally comfortable with that. Mm-hmm. There are couples where one of them wants it every day. Okay. And, and the other one wants it once a week. Remember, you need to be chemically involved, you need to be compatible... And you need to be a good communicator to negotiate an in-love relationship. Okay. If you've got two out of three or one out of three, you can't be in love. Mm. So those three things are? Chemistry, compatibility, and communication. Okay. If you've got chemistry and you've got compatibility, you're the fighting Bickersons, but you love to make up. If you've got chemistry and you've got communication, he lives on one country and you live in another one, you're not compatible. If you've got compatible and you've got communication, you are just friends. Okay. So there has to be the chemistry. All three have to be present, and I specialize in communication. I help people negotiate a 51% valuable relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, you know why not 100%? Because I know the Messiah may be coming, <laughs> and he may even already been here, but I don't know if there are perfect form human beings on the planet. Mm. So, so 51% means on the worst day of your marriage and relationship, you know why you're there. Mm. Now, is it possible to develop chemistry? Uh, No. Men are quicker at it because their genitals tell them when they're chemically interested. Mm -hmm. We are slower because very often we're women's livers and we pick with our eyes. Yes, that's me. And when we pick with our (laughs) eyes, we're picking their beauty so we can show them off to our family, friends, and enemies especially. So <laughs> I like women. Well, Go ahead, sorry. There are trophy men too, you know. Now, there are women who basically know that if they pick with their ears, when they first meet this person, I, I require people to date three times, yes. especially women who pick normally with their eyes, I teach them to pick with their ears, like sense of humor, character, Mm -hmm. politeness, cherishing. I want you to know, and I'm sure you've met, a woman who didn't know she was with the right guy until she had dated him a few times at least. Mm -hmm. And then she realized he got cuter by the minute. Mm Mm-hmm. And that's still my problem. I hate to tell you this. I wanted to come on the air this time a year later and tell you that I was in the love of my life romance after your coaching and doing the duty dating. But I'm, I'm, I, I'm such a failure with you. <laughs> I'm still look, picking with my eyes. I just cannot seem to, you know, if, I, if I'm not attracted as soon as I see them, I've got news for you. Wait a minute. Attraction is DNA. It has nothing to do with eyeballs. You've had a friend that said, I've met the most perfect man, and you meet him, and he is a royal dog. (laughs) (laughs) 
because you have no DNA chemistry. Chemistry is not what you get with your eyeballs. Okay. What you get with your eyeballs is, I want to get laid more than paid. <laughs> okay. Some of the most beautiful men have no money, no ambition, you see, because their beauty attracts people just like a beautiful woman. Hmm. But but then I go back to, I practice the law of attraction. Can't I have both? I got news for you. The law of attraction is you always fall in love with the person that's got the missing part of you in their soul. Have you ever noticed that when you look and find somebody that's perfect, gone to the right school, right religion, right politics, right everything, mm -hmm. but there's no chemistry? Yes, that happens all the time. Okay. Well, I've got news for you. Chemistry is not a vote of the mind. It's a vote of the body. Mm. The body is attracted to a man or a woman, depending on whatever sex you are and whatever proclivity. Your brain decides whether you're straight or gay. Mm -hmm. But when I look yeah, and I'm not and I don't, but I, my body is connected to my, my, my body response is connected to my eyes. I can't seem to disconnect I got those. You. No, dear. Your chemistry is attracted your, your eyes pick sex. Okay. Your body picks sex. But your soul picks the missing part of you. Everybody you've ever felt fallen in love with has brought you a painful lesson. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. Because that's the missing part that they're bringing. And the book, The Invisible Partners by John Sanford, as in... F-O-R-D, okay. is a good demonstration, and it speaks also of the gay population, which works under the same premise. Mm -hmm. DNA is attraction. Eyeballs and ears are part of what you want in the way of compatibility. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with attraction. If you go with somebody that your eyes pick, but there's no DNA. Within three years, the first year is fascinating. In fact, it's infatuating. Mm -hmm. Then you enjoy, and then the third year is boring. <laughs> so okay. um, a relationship without genuine DNA compatibility. And this is, you know, Helen Fisher set up chemistry.com. Mm -hmm. Why him, why her? Chemistry is DNA. If it's, okay. if it's a man who's a little like your dad's chemistry, but a little not like your dad's chemistry, it's very desirable because diversification is good for oh, nature. There, we make good babies okay. when okay. we're not the same DNA. All right. If his DNA is too much like your dad, he's taboo. Mm -hmm. If it's not enough like your dad, he's an alien. Okay. And the same goes for men with women. Exactly the same. Got it. Got it. So if you've just tuned in and you're wondering why this voice sounds very familiar, not mine, because uh, you know you are on Take My Advice, I'm Not Using It, Get Balanced with Dr. Marissa, I have my favorite love doctor on the air with me to celebrate Valentine's Day, or Single Awareness Day, Dr. Pat Allen, and she is talking about uh, chemistry and the three things that are necessary for a great relationship. Let's see if I got it. Chemistry, compatibility, and communication. And she takes her lessons from nature. And I actually have, instead of, because a lot of people wanted to call in, and it's like, you know what? It's my show, and I have questions that I've collected. So I'm just going to tell you the questions that have been messaged me, and uh, we'll go from there. How's that sound? Okay. All right. So here's one question. So I flirt, I smile, and the guys do not follow up and ask for my number. Is it okay for me to ask for theirs? Is it okay for you to chase a man is the question. Correct. It's okay to chase the man if you're hooking up, and that means your place or mine, no building. It's okay for you to chase the man if you're over 50 years old, because if he's over 50, he's a woman anyway, so you might as well chase him. What? Wait, 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 okay what? Chase... What? 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 Say that again. Say that again. If you're, unless you're over 50, because why? If you're going over 50, between 45 and 50, we're going male. 
at 45 to 50, he's going, these guys are running around getting testosterone shots, when the truth of the matter is the estrogen in their body that's melting them into crybabies. <laughs> okay, so it's okay for a over 50 woman to ask an that's over 50 woman. That's called a cougar, woman. dear, cougar. <laughs> I do have a question on that one, actually. So, so, well, so, so, cougar, the <laughs> so, cougar, so I had a cougar. Nature. Nature. I, so, so I don't, so this, uh, this came in from actually somebody on LinkedIn. I don't want to be a cougar, but I look and feel and act younger than the 53 years that I am. And the guys my age look much older and I don't want to be the younger bimbo. What do I do? Uh, you decide that you want to get paid enough to go with a mature man with money and bring him the sensual sexual joy that he wants to pay for. Uh, become a prostitute? Pardon? Uh, become a prostitute? I, I don't understand uh, the paying part. <laughs> you know, this phone is going clank in the night. Oh, the phone? I mean, it's, it's jiggling on and off. Oh, dear. So if I miss the word... Ask for. Okay. Now, do you want to ask that question again? Sure. So you said if you're if you're older if you're 53 and you find a man with money that appreciates the sensual woman you are and you get paid for it. So I asked you, does that that sounds like being a prostitute? You're not saying I got a prostitute. The only difference between a wife and a prostitute is a blessing, and the prostitute doesn't have to do laundry. Okay. It may be a better job. <laughs> okay. So, so are you telling? Okay. Well, we got to back up there because someone's going to ask this question. So, again, and you have my assistant producer like laughing so hard he can't run the soundboard. Thank you very much. Um, so, a woman that's over fifty is supposed to find a man with money. Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. Over 50, 99% of the time, wants to get laid. Okay. Is Madonna with a man her age? No. Is J-Lo with a man her age? No. Tina Turner? Look, pure women are hornier than younger women. Okay. And if they've got money, they can afford toy boys. Okay. And older men want to toy girls. That's why that guy goes with that gold digger hard body, because he's now bonded to her, lost his wife, lost his family, may lose his life with the Takasubo cardiomyopathy heart. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? No. Tell me you what know that what is. That is? No, what is that? It's called the broken heart syndrome. When you mm. betray a person like a man who's going on estrogen midlife, that heartbreak within the first week of being betrayed may cause his heart to fill up with fluid on the bottom chamber, thus setting it up for a heart attack. Wow. So if there's a man or a woman with a man listening, mm -hmm. if you've got a son, a father, a you know, brother, whatever, and his heart hurts, the week after he gets dumped, take him to an emergency ward and have him evaluated for a Takasubo cardiomyopathy heart attack. Wow. Typically wow. healthy heart that blows up. Huh. So, so heartbreak becomes literal. And that's called the broken heart syndrome, if you want to look it up on your computer. See what I mean? Everything I do is based in oh, science. Neat. Yes, I see that. I never, I never really appreciated that about you. So, okay. So then, I guess, I guess the clarity is because I do have a lot of listeners, women in the forty to sixty bracket, that are single. And what saddens me a lot is many of them say to me, "It's, it's." Uh, you know, it's really not meant to me be for me every time I go online dating or any time I go out and try to meet a guy, it always ends up badly. Either the men are, you know, really old and 
that I'm I I'm older, but I I enjoy life like I'm much younger, and they are older and want to stay at home, and I still have so much to do and s to see. But I don't want to be with a younger man because I don't like to be a cougar. I don't want to be thought of being a cougar. So what sh what's your advice to the women in that category? I will tell you exactly. Good. Be passive. Be passive. Attract them with your beauty, your cleanliness, your savoir faire. Attract them with their their eyes do the picking, ears do the picking. So attract them with, their, with the eyes and then act in a passive, patient, mm. vulnerable way. Yes. Now, for a mature woman, these are ugly ugly word, mm. passive, <laughs> patient, and vulnerable. Yes. But for a man, you know, I'm going I'm to quote Jules Michelet in the 1800s said the following, there is no such thing as an old woman. If she's good, that's virtuous. And if she knows how to love, that's passive, patient, and vulnerable. He reaches the infinite her. Hmm. You know what? There's we a are. Book out there called Why Men Love Bitches. Do you know why men love bitches? W why? Because bitches require to be gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going to have to get the video editor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you know what, Dr. Pat? The, do you have, uh, I'm going to take a break and thank our sponsors. Do you mind calling back on a different phone? Because you're right, it is breaking up. So I'm wondering if we can try something else. Because that last, that whole last thing that you said sounded super important, but we only got parts of it. So we're just going to come back after this commercial break, thanking the sponsors that made this show possible. And Dr. Pat, do you mind calling back on a different phone? I'd uh, you call you back on a different phone? Yes, that would be awesome. I will call you back on a different because this one is crinkling. Yes, it is crinkling. And we don't want to miss anything Thank that you. you're saying. All right. We'll be right back in two and two. Good. Want to feel like a star? Have an event that could use a red carpet? Event Step and Repeat will produce a professional banner or backdrop for you with excellence times three. First, we provide the cheapest step and repeat banners in California. Second, we focus on speedy delivery with a 24-hour turnaround rate. And third, we want you to be happy, so we provide the best customer service on the planet. Visit us at www.eventsstepandrepeat.com or call 888-377-1377 today. Is building your own website or revamping your current site on your bucket list? How about finally making that mobile app idea a reality? Are you ready to launch your web or mobile app with creativity in class? Then BDM Creative is your partner in time. Branding development and media specialist, BDMCreative.com can show off your million dollar web or mobile app with affordable price packages. And if you mention Dr. Marissa, you'll receive 25% off your first project, so don't delay. Contact www.bdmcreative.com today. That's www.bdmcreative.com today. And welcome back. We are celebrating Valentine's with my gift to you, the amazing Dr. Pat Allen. And actually, the uh, the, the ad that you just heard, I wanted to just give a personal endorsement to Michael Gonzalez. Uh, if you haven't been to what my website lately, please do go. That's the number four balance.org. And I, and I listen, I've had, I've had many, many listeners say, I love you, Dr. Marissa, but I cannot find the show on your website. So I went to, it went down splash page for a little longer than I hoped for because I 
I, I, I was, uh, I, I'm always nervous when it goes down, but he over delivered and under promised. So if you have a chance, please do go surf at the number four balance.org and, uh, contact Michael at BDM branding development media, uh, creative.com today. All right. And we are back. back. Oh, yay. And oh, you sound so much better right now. <laughs> I'm so glad Good. that we did that. All right. right, I'm. I've got some more questions for you. Good. Um, Go for it. Okay. We're going to talk about sex now. I thought we already were. <laughs> That's true. But I'm going to get really sexy here. Um, I have, don't I had, the F word. <laughs> yes, I know. Actually, we can't use the B, <laughs> we don't use the B word either. I'm not sure if that's on the list. Oh, or not. oh, bitch doesn't work either. <laughs> I was giving you the title of a book. <laughs> yes. We'll argue that point when I'm up, okay. uh, when I'm up there. Okay. Uh, one listener said on my Facebook message, uh, I have difficulty getting, to an orgasm with a guy that I am really into. We have an exclusive relationship and he is awesome, but for some reason I can't seem to peek. Too nervous, too afraid, I don't know. What should I do? Well, the first thing I would ask her if I was a therapist, and I am, mm -hmm. is who scared you when you were little? Who, who lusted you? Grandpa, did the minister lust you? Because if a little girl gets stimulated sexually early, especially before her first period, what happens to her is that her brain gets wounded and produces too many dopamine receptors, mm. too many, like cocaine does. Mm -hmm. And because of that, she, when she's near somebody that naturally attracts her DNA, she becomes so so reactively sensitive based on the connection between the experience of being lusted prematurely or touched or molested, God forbid, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, she, that she equates being chemically attracted with danger. Uh -huh. And I immediately refer her to EMDR for trauma. Okay. EMDR. And what Eye is... Movement. Shapiro's work. Okay. It's, okay. You know how the eyes go back and forth when you're going to sleep and you're mm -hmm. dreaming? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We now know that that's paper shredding, that huh. what you're doing is polishing off the imprinted wounds on your nervous system to the best of your ability. Interesting. And if you've been traumatized too significantly, you have to go to a therapist who's trained okay. in EMDR to integrate the disassociation between the pleasure of dopamine and the knowledge of the wound. Got it. Got it. I will refer her. I'm I, well. She's actually listening today because I told her I would ask that question. But but is it for someone? Okay. So I didn't have that trauma, but I have to tell you, <laughs> as I put the moose on the table for myself again, and full disclosure, I do have this. Uh, like I am aware that if I'm with someone that I'm not really that into, it's easier for me to reach orgasm than it is for some if I'm with someone that I really 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 think is hot I don't know what it is but it's like I get more self-conscious and then I don't feel uh, like I am as attractive as he is so what's wrong with me what you're saying is the more you like them the more frightened you are uh, the the less I'm able to relax into a climax you know, this phone is doing that same thing again. Uh-oh. Yeah, and this is a different phone. Oh, but you're you're very clear on this it side. It may not be my phone. What? It, you're very clear on my end. So I'll just repeat uh, my question. So All right. All please. right. So so what's wrong what's wrong with me that I am not able to relax with someone that I that I uh, think is more attractive than me. I guess that's the, the bottom line. Uh, because you haven't built up your awareness of the compatibility. You've hooked up too fast. You've uh, moved on his level 
of speed rather than yours. Okay. So I need to, I mean, we're, we were exclusive. We got to that point. I do follow your I, no, advice. That's intellectual. Uh, I'm talking about your body is safe with him. Nature has created us so that if we're raped, yes, that kills us. Mm -hmm. But if we're not seduced and deflowered properly, we are wounded. And that wound does not allow vulnerability. Hmm. You know, sex for a woman way back in the Neanderthal age was almost a guarantee for a danger of death. Hmm. We have, you know, OBGYNs, we've got all kinds of people now. But sex, more people die of sex and the misuse of sex, whether it's psychological or physical. Mm -hmm. But what's happening today is because men are such quickies and women are not honoring their need for, for passivity, patience, and vulnerability, mm. that we're rushing it, and that's dangerous for our soul mm. because we're not desensitized to the fear of death hmm. through birth. Mm -hmm. So so it's getting to know them more before getting to that point. And it it feeling... isn't how long you know them. Okay. It's, it's how the combination results, how it, how it works out. That, it's just the same as secretaries who work for their bosses until they fall in love, and then they've fallen in love with the proximity. Mm. With the familiarity. Mm -hmm. Do you see? So, so, so I recommend to women, please, have only make love the way your body tells you is right for you. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. So be Too many women think that men know what they're doing when they have their quickies. That's simply nature getting more babies for the population. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We women, have the, we women have the responsibility of setting standards. Okay. That's... And if we don't set standards, we do things that are scaring our bodies mm -hmm. and therefore setting up bad syndromes. That's a, that's a great different frame to look at. It's not a morality issue. It is, has nothing to do with yeah, morality. Yeah. It has to do with the process of defloration. Did you happen to see the movie The Young Victoria? Yes. Yes, okay. beautiful movie. Do you remember Albert, the meek and mild guy with the sexy blonde brother? Yes. Okay. The reason Albert got Victoria was that he was a gentleman, a gentleman, Mm -hmm. He was an artistic photographer, and she became deliberately interested in photography because the compatibility factor and setting up homes for the homeless and schools for the schoolless, mm -hmm. that they literally, uh, he m melted her with his kindness, mm -hmm. with his gentleness. Mm -hmm. And I deliberately went to the Getty Museum here in Los Angeles to see the, the photographic review of Victoria and Albert. Mm -hmm. Do you know that she was a perfect eight, teeny tiny, mm -hmm. until he died? Mm -hmm. Then she, And she had one baby a year for nine years, oh. and he died. Mm -hmm. Then she turned to food. Uh, so we think of Victoria as being this big, blimpy woman, when really she was in love who had lost her lover. Interesting. Good. Yes, very. Yeah. Okay, uh, next question. Uh, what if a guy doesn't ask for exclusivity? I'm afraid that if I play hard to get, he'll just say it's too much work and go to easier women. Wait a minute. I don't have my ladies play hard to get. He goes for sex on the first date. I say, tell him, thank you for being attracted to me. I'd love to make love to you. But are you really willing and able to go monogamous 
no socializing with other women, no sexualizing. Are you really ready to aim for marriage? Because I am. <laughs> and are you really able to see me regularly every week? And is that where you're coming from? Mm. And what? guess what? Nine out of ten will say, no, I'm not ready for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not ready to consummate my wedding night yet either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But so, I'm more than willing to date you. Mm-hmm. And and so then I'm going to, I don't believe this, but I, I've heard other people say, but Dr. Pat, isn't that like just so old fashioned? Isn't that just so yes, like dear, yesterday? It's just like all old fashioned. You know what? Cultures and religions have designed sexual practices, some strict, some looser than others, because they need to protect the act of sex as the progenitor of the population. Mm. Sweden doesn't marry anymore. Mm-hmm. I did a, I did a special. I did. A, I was on a, a special series for them because they want to teach their people how to get married again. Oh wow! They're not marrying. Right. Marriage is going it's down. True. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard that statistic. I actually spent some time there when I lived in Europe. And it's true. Everybody was living with everybody, but there was very little marriage. That's what, and what I'm saying is, what are you teaching your kids? Mm-hmm. Remember, governments and countries are built on family units. That is the brick of society. Mm-hmm. And I don't care if it's one man and 14 wives. Those are his 14 wives. <laughs> right, right. Okay. You see? Yes, I see. I see. If you've just joined us and you're wondering who I'm talking to, it is the amazing Dr. Pat Allen, four-time Oprah guest and now four-time Asian Oprah guest. And we're talking about love, sex, and romance as she's my Valentine's present to you, Dr. Listener, Dr. Marissa listeners. Okay, here's another question. If I take a lover, I am afraid that I will develop feelings for him. Again. No, 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 no. no. Remember what I said, the qualification for a lover, it has to be an ex-husband, it has to be an ex-lover, it has to be an Mm ex-boyfriend who you have burnt both ends of the candle with. (laughs) There is, you are so over romance, your bodies still like each other, but you know better about building anything. Got it. And, and in that case, it's okay to fulfill the, the extra horniness that comes with age for women. Is, is the, Absolutely. To okay. Absolutely. So, all right. Here's another sex question. You know question. what? Oh, like Victoria, what do we pick? We pick food and booze. Mm. Mm-hmm. Better to pick sex. And that totally <laughs> turn off. Yes. All right. What if a guy won't give me oral sex but expects me to give it to him? Uh, that is a little boy who basically wants his mommy to nurse him with her vagina. Okay. Now I'm going to give you another piece of science. You want to hear it? I'm ready. Okay. Now we know what dogs do when they're chasing a dog with a V name. In heat. We do know what they do. What do they do? They do the F word. No, they don't. No? They do the licking word. Oh. Now, why do men (laughs) who are men go for oral sex with women, naturally? Why? Because it's the fastest way to determine the health status of the female. Oh. I didn't she know that. won't taste good if she's infected. What? <laughs> this is a new one. I didn't it's know. It's not that. a new one. Well, it's no, I mean, you were for me. Okay. Yeah. So, so that. Now, now, real men have a natural drive to smell and taste a woman's genitals. But the basis of it is their animal nature. When a man is a natural animal, animal mm-hmm. he goes for sex. God willing, he doesn't rape, but he goes for it. Right. Do you see what I mean? It's a natural drive. But a, a natural man. Mm-hmm. But a little boy man, he's only looking for gratification. Mm-hmm. And a woman's genitals 
are absolutely verboten, ugly, horrible, that. Mm. Okay. You know why? Why? Because he's not he's not building anything. Mm. He's not giving his babies to anybody. Okay. So so kick him to the curb. A boy is into gratifying himself at a woman's expense. Okay. Yeah, kick him to the Are curb. Are you aware of the power of the tongue on the clitoris? Yes. <laughs> okay. I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've heard. You, you've never experienced it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Well, oh. those of us that love it... <laughs> Those are of you us still, that are 80 uh, and love it because her 85-year-old boyfriend loves it. That answers that question. I was going to ask, are you still going out with him? <laughs> and you are, obviously, in a big way. <laughs> God love you. Hmm. All right. God does love I me. I know. I know. I want to be just like you. I definitely. I want to be just like me when I get to be 81. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, good. So, so, okay, so, so, so the younger ones that, I mean, the, the little boys are not the, the men that we want. No, um, they're not. They're looking for just gratification. Got it. Your body is, your body is better than a towel. Okay. Now I have a very, <laughs> I have a very, um, a, a real, sex question here not that the other oh, ones are here we go i have a, a, i had a caller um email me and say i have gentle little warts not herpes but i'm afraid to be rejected and stay away from oral sex altogether yes she has general warts yes uh, she has vaginal warts yes the point is if a man is in love with you he'll work with you Mm. He'll go to the doctor with you. You'll find safe ways to have sex. Okay. So, yeah. All it's got to take is he loves you, mm. defective and all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I think that's the theme that I'm hearing is that you really, it's not about um, old fashioned. It's about... No. remembering what romance and relationships are supposed to be about. They're supposed to be about a very, very scientific foundation of what it takes for a human animal to make love or to have sex. Hmm. We are the one animal that can commit a crime and a sin, and sex and money and mind-altering chemicals are the three choices in making a crime or a sin. Hmm. And therefore, if we know what the science of sexuality is, we can be any religion, be in any country, and understand that integrity is finding the truth of your body, your mind, and your spirit, and standing up for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> Every you time someone asks me why I'm still single and I say, I, you know, I want the relationship, but I really, really want someone who is spiritual first and then very, very close second, extremely successful, and then a very close third, you know, really attractive to me. And then I hear your voice. You're using your eyes. <laughs> Yeah. You're, you're asking to be, uh, you want to be respected more than you want to be cherished. And That's right. And you have to quit being so strong. I mean, that... Uh, you've got to be passive, patient, and vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You have to present. You have to look in the eyes and smile, but not talk. You have to, you have to be healthy looking. Women in wheelchairs can look attended to. Mm -hmm. They can look clean, they can look dressed, and a man will take the time. You've seen handsome men pushing women in wheelchairs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so, that's making love. Mm -hmm. 
putting the love back into making love. That's my new byline for you. <laughs> and putting the love back is following nature's laws. Mm -hmm. Nature's laws are God made. Right. Follow them. Right, right. So, okay, you there's been, my listeners will want to know how to find you. So, first you have a great website Dr. Pat Allen, right? Dr. Pat Allen. Dot com. Then you do workshops on Monday nights. You're at the theater in Santa Odyssey Monica. Odyssey Theater. Odyssey Theater at what time? 7 to 8:30 p.m. every Monday. It's great entertainment and education all in one and you will laugh your but off and I have been on the hot seat several times it's only because I would come more Dr. Pat but on Mondays yeah. I always have my girls but uh, in the summertime I understand. I, I, I understand. Yes. and then uh, you also do private private coaching I'm a, I have two offices one in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and one in Orange County I do a free Wednesday night from 7 to 8 30 I have a belief that if you're making money off people's problems, that's doctors, lawyers, therapists, you know, mm -hmm. you owe it to the people that can't pay you to give you the to give them the message that has been gifted to you. Mm -hmm. I believe that every gift we have belongs to our audience or mm -hmm. our patients or whoever mm -hmm. rather than us. That's God working through. Yeah. I, I absolutely agree with you. And that's why I gave it to you last year. I'm going to give it to you again. You are the recipient of Dr. Marissa's Beneficial Presence on the Planet Award. Again. <laughs> I totally appreciate it. <laughs> so what, what would you, what intentions would you like to set for yourself this new year of the sheep and ram? Uh, for myself? Yes. Because there's that power I in continue. this. I just passed my physical. My, I just had my nanogram. My, all the physicals that I need, I passed. And okay. therefore, I have planned three years. I planned my life in three years. Oh. And so I think I'm going to make another three years. Mm -hmm. And I pray that I carry the message, as you've allowed me to do here. Absolutely. Until... Mm -hmm. I dropped dead on camera. <laughs> oh, God. Only you. I think that's such a dramatic thing. <laughs> As the audience will think it's a joke. That's what's really funny. You are, you're just out of this world, and I love it. And you're so shy. <laughs> you're, sh you're shy than you, I am, you, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Don't that's... forget the following thing. What? The only way you know you love yourself or anybody else are the commitments you make and keep. Mm, beautiful. Wonderful, wise, loving, and romancing the self words from Dr. Pat Allen. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank and, you, And uh, you can, we can hear you uh, uh, on LA Talk Radio on Friday nights. Friday night said? from 7, to, seven eight. to 8. And the internet is drpatallen.com. Thank you again. We'll see you next year. And then good, I can good, good. Uh, tell you if I am. I've had three relationships this year, so I did do my duty oh, good, dating. Oh, good, 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 yeah, yeah, good. yeah, yeah. No, I actually had them. Now they didn't last as you know, they didn't last that long. But that's Upgrade. okay. Fill the spots. <laughs> Fill the spots. All right. Thank us again. Love you. Love you too. Thank you. Yes, that was. The comic Mother Superior, as Oprah calls her, Dr. Pat Allen. She is beloved, unbelievable. She's 80 years old and still giving us lots to think about, lots to work on for us to have successful, loving relationships. And we are at the end of the show at My Balance Bar, where I let you know what's going on and the Asian Oprah giveaway. Today is a free facial from Shatani at the Shiseido counter at the Nordstrom's and Cerritos Mall. She's my facialist. She's fabulous. And she's agreed to give one free, amazing facial. So please do go to my new website, new upgraded website, the number four balance.org. Fill it out on the radio section that says facial and you will receive the, the, uh, 
the paper that will give you a free facial. And uh, today is round 44, day 10 on the 21 day fast from complaining. And the balance tip for today is complaining is like having, uh, wiping your life glasses with a dirty rag. So don't complain because you can't see any clearer, you can't hear any clearer, and life doesn't look very good from those dirty glasses. If you'd like to support me in building my 21-day Fast From Complaining app, please go to GoFundMe backslash H-R-A-X-L-O. And if you missed me on Answers for the Family yesterday, another show, just go to my uh, Facebook page and I'll be posting that. Please become friends with me there. Uh, I will be going to Sedona once again for the fifth annual Balance Retreat with Dr. Marissa the weekend after Mother's Day. So it's a great present. Uh, You get to save $180 if you register by April Fool's Day. No doubt. No fool in on that. May 16th and 17th, only $440. So that's it for today's show. Next week, it is, excuse me, that time of the month, call-ins with Marissa, the kinder, gentler Dr. Laura. So tune in Tuesday at Naturally High Noon for Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Marissa Pay. That's P for positive, E-I. You're going to listen to the replay on Thursday of Dr. Pat Allen and I on KCAA AM 1050. And remember, it's all about balance. Peace in and peace out. over the planet uh, straighten out their love life with thought-provoking questions like do you want to get laid or get paid (laughs) and advice like don't go to bed without a contract yes this will be an r-rated episode so if you're in the library listening move somewhere where you can laugh out loud and sometimes with embarrassment as I will be doing because every time she comes on with me she rakes me over the romance coals but there's nothing like what Pat Allen says to you that can't straighten out your love life. So that's why I have her on every year. Please help me welcome, without further ado, Dr. Pat Allen. (laughs) Hello, my favorite love teacher. Dr. Pat, (laughs) did we lose her? She's probably still on mute because I asked her to be on mute over the intro okay dr pat we will continue to try to get you on um if you can hear me i want to just remind you that oh there we are yay um i'm gonna remind (laughs) on the phone oh good i'm glad so we are going to be replayed on thursday on nbc so just to warn you my fcc people are going to find me so um usually you can say anything you want But today, if you could help me out and not say the FCC rule violators, okay? (laughs) What? (laughs) The language that will get me a $20,000 fine on NBC. I I will speak like a nun. (laughs) No, I don't want you to do that either. Then it wouldn't be you. You know, Oprah calls you the comic mother superior. You know that, right? Yes, I know that. Yeah, I, I th- and I know why. So, yes, my, my sound engineer and assistant producer is so excited to have you on. He didn't get the connection until he saw the pictures that were flashing up of you. So, welcome back. How's your year been? It's been just fine. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of interesting things. Tell me. And, I, well, if you want to know, I'm on L.A. Talk Radio. I have my own show on Friday night. Wonderful. I didn't know you started that again. Yes, we just started it last week. Fantastic. What time? 7 to 8 o'clock California time. And it's on from, it's on uh, drpatallen.com. It's an internet show. Mm -hmm. And I answer questions. Fabulous. 
So this so is I'm it. glad to support you and your show. Aww, thank and you. And I'm glad you're allowing me to say my show. Absolutely. In fact, I should have gotten to you sooner. Maybe we can get her over at Universal Broadcasting Network. I didn't know you were shopping. I would have snagged you. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yes. All right. So, um, and you are an, another young year older. Is this the year of the sheep for you? Are you a sheep or a goat? The what? Are you born in the year of the sheep or the goat? Do you know Chinese uh, astrology? I really don't know. Oh, okay. uh, 1934, 80 years ago, I have no idea which astrological sign I was okay. under. I'll have to look that up for you. So that you would be, That would be very interesting. Yes. It, it, actually, maybe Jarvis can do it while we're talking. But uh, you, you're 80 now? I thought you were only 74. Why did I think you were 74? You're a you're a young eighty. I can hear, I can hear your phone uh, going. I'm uh, trying to turn off my phone. <laughs> no problem. You're eighty years old this year. There. What? You're eighty years old this year. You're not eighty. I thought you I'm were. I'm eight o. Wow. You're eight o. That's. I, I thought I was impressed because I thought you were seventy three or seventy four. I hope you're on a show sometime when you're eighty, and they say don't use the F word. <laughs> <laughs> what you want in the way of compatibility? Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with attraction. If you go with somebody that your eyes pick, but there's no DNA within three years, the first year is fascinating. In fact, it's infatuating. Mm -hmm. Then you enjoy, and then the third year is boring. (laughs) So a a relationship without genuine DNA compatibility. And this is, you know, Helen Fisher set up Mm chemistry.com. Why him, why her? Chemistry is DNA. If If it's a man who's a little like your dad's chemistry, but a little not like your dad's chemistry, it's very desirable because diversification is good for oh, nature. There, we make the good nature. babies okay. when they're not the same DNA. All right. If his DNA is too much like your dad, he's taboo. Mm-hmm. If it's not enough like your dad, he's an alien. Okay. And the same goes for men with women. Exactly the same. Got it. Got it. So if you've just tuned in and you're wondering why this voice sounds very familiar, not mine, uh, because you know you are on Take My Advice, I'm Not Using It, Get Balanced with Dr. Marissa, I have my favorite love doctor on the air with me to celebrate Valentine's Day or Single Awareness Day, Dr. Pat Allen, and she is talking about uh, chemistry and the three things that are necessary for a great relationship. Let's see if I got it. Chemistry, compatibility, and communication. And she takes her lessons from nature. And I actually have, instead of, because a lot of people wanted to call in, and it's like, you know what? It's my show, and I have questions that I've collected. So I'm just going to tell you the questions that have been messaged me, and uh, we'll go from there. How's that sound? Okay. All right. So here's one question. So I flirt, I smile, and the guys do not follow up and ask for my number. Is it okay for me to ask for theirs? Is it okay for you to chase a man is the question. Correct. It's okay to chase the man if you're hooking up, and that means your place or mine, no building. It's okay for you to chase the man if you're over 50 years old, because if he's over 50, he's a woman anyway, so you might as well chase him. Wait, 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 what? 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 Say that again. Say that again. If you're, unless you're over 50, because, why? If you're going over 50, between 45 and 50, we're going male. At 45 to 50, he's going, these guys are running around getting testosterone shots. When the truth of the matter, it's the estrogen in their body that's melting them into crybabies. <laughs> okay, so it's okay for a over fifty woman to ask that's an over fifty. That's called a cougar, man. dear cougar. 
I do have a question on that one, actually. So, so, well, so, so, cougar, the <laughs> so, cougar, so I had a cougar. Nature. Nature. I, so, so I don't, so this, uh, this came in from actually somebody on LinkedIn. I don't want to be a cougar, but I look and feel and act younger than the 53 years that I am. And the guys my age look much older and I don't want to be the younger bimbo. What do I do? Uh, you decide that you want to get paid enough to go with a mature man with money and bring him the sensual sexual joy that he wants to pay for. Uh, become a prostitute? Pardon? Uh, become a prostitute? I, I don't understand uh, the paying part. <laughs> you know, this phone is going plank in the night. Oh, the phone? I mean, it's, it's jiggling on and off. Oh, dear. So if I miss a word... Ask for her. Okay. Now, do you want to ask that question again? Sure. So you... S- <laughs> yes. That's like being young forever. Yes, you are. You're, you're a great role model. Immaturity model helped me. me a great deal maintain my childhood. <laughs> Yes, and your your advice for I don't know anybody who hasn't listened to you, but just in case no, no I one's don't give advice, I teach virtue through science. Virtue through I science. I do not give advice. Okay. I choose to believe that God works through nature. All I'm right. not a pantheist, but I do believe that nature tells us exactly how to do, especially in the area of sexuality. Okay. So I teach virtue through science. So, so what did you learn from nature that, that is? What I learned from nature is basically there's got to be the courty and the courtor. In other words, somebody's got to chase somebody. When two people chase each other, they're just a couple of rams bashing heads. <laughs> okay. So someone's got to be the pursuer and someone's got to the be, be the pursuit. Only if they want a successful courtship. Okay. If they don't, then they don't follow nature, and many people are, quote, hooking up. Hooking up is so much equality that it dulls romance. Hmm. But you, d- I've heard you say that it's okay to take a lover on, though. Uh, it's okay to take a lover on if he's been your burnt-out lover from the past, an ex-husband, an ex-boyfriend, who you know deep down in your heart you tried to build something, mm-hmm. and now all you are is friends. Okay. Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits, right. Okay. I'm not a moralist. I'm a therapist. Okay. What that's you a... do is your business, all right. right? So you don't have, so there's no judgment, because I have women all the no. time. All the time no they say judgment. to me, how, how um, is it possible to have a friends with benefit relationship without feeling um, bad about myself? Uh, you have a lover if you're waiting for the right man, if you've got the right man, but he's not in fruition yet, mm-hmm. and you're a horny lady. <laughs> okay. So if you're a horny and, lady... And that's what it takes. Libido comes in different percentages for each person. There are couples that have sex once a month, and they're totally comfortable with that. Mm-hmm. There are couples where one of them wants it every day. Okay. And, and the other one wants it once a week. Remember, you need to be chemically involved, you need to be compatible, and you need to be a good communicator to negotiate an in-love relationship. Okay. If you've got two out of three or one out of three, you can't be in love. Mm. So those three things are? Chemistry, compatibility, and communication. Okay. If you've got chemistry and you've got compatibility, you're the fighting Bickersons, but you love to make up. Mm. If you've got chemistry and you've got communication, he lives on one country and you live in another one, you're not compatible. (laughs) If you've got compatible and you've got communication, you are just friends. Okay. So there has to be the chemistry. All three have to be present, and I specialize in communication. I help people negotiate a 51% 
valuable relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, you know why not 100%? Because I know the Messiah may be coming, <laughs> and he may even already been here, but I don't know if there are perfect form human beings on the planet. Mm. So, so 51% means on the worst day of your marriage and relationship, you know why you're there. Mm. Now, is it possible to develop chemistry? Uh, no. Oh. Men are quicker at it because their genitals tell them when they're chemically interested. Mm-hmm. We are slower because very often we're women's livers and we pick with our eyes. Yes, that's me. And when we pick with our <laughs> eyes, we're picking their beauty so we can show them off to our family, friends, and enemies especially. So <laughs> I like women. Well, Go ahead, it, sorry. there are trophy men too, you know. Now, there are women who basically know that if they pick with their ears, when they first meet this person, I, I require people to date three times, yes. especially women who pick normally with their eyes. Yes. I teach them to pick with their ears, like sense of humor, character, mm-hmm. politeness, cherishing. I want you to know, and I'm sure you've met, a woman who didn't know she was with the right guy until she had dated him a few times at least. Mm-hmm. And then she realized he got cuter by the minute. Mm -hmm. And that's still my problem. I hate to tell you this. I wanted to come on the air this time a year later and tell you that I was in the love of my life romance after your coaching and doing the duty dating. But I'm I'm such a failure with you. (laughs) I'm still picking with my eyes. I just cannot seem to... You know, if I if I'm not attracted as soon as I see them, I've got I... news for you. Wait a minute. Attraction is DNA. It has nothing to do with eyeballs. You've had a friend that said I've met the most perfect man, and you meet him, and he is a royal dog <laughs> <laughs> because you have no DNA chemistry. Chemistry is not what you get with your eyeballs. Okay. What you get with your eyeballs is. I want to get laid more than paid. <laughs> okay. Some of the most beautiful men have no money, no ambition, you see, because their beauty attracts people just like a beautiful woman. Hmm. But but then I go back to, I practice the law of attraction. Can't I have both? i got news for you. The law of attraction is... You always fall in love with the person that's got the missing part of you in their soul. Have you ever noticed that when you look and find somebody that's perfect, gone to the right school, right religion, right politics, right everything, Mm -hmm. but there's no chemistry? Yes, that happens all the time. Okay. Well, I've got news for you. Chemistry is not a vote of the mind. It's a vote of the body. Mm -hmm. The body is attracted to a man or a woman, depending on whatever sex you are, and whatever proclivity, your brain decides whether you're straight or gay. Mm -hmm. But when I look and I'm not, and I don't, but I, my body is connected to my, my, my body response is connected to my eyes. I can't seem to disconnect those. No, dear, your chemistry is attracted. Your, your eyes pick sex. Okay. Your body picks sex. But your soul picks the missing part of you. Everybody you've ever felt fallen in love with has brought you a painful lesson. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. Because that's the missing part that they're bringing. And the book, The Invisible Partners by John Sanford, S-N-F-O-R-D, is a good demonstration. And it speaks also of the gay population, which works under the same premise. Mm -hmm. DNA is attraction. Eyeballs and ears are part of... You found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows. It's time to spread the word to friends, family, 
and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. In the future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life. From Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBNRadio.com. Jump off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. Her mission, to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, love, laugh, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Fay on UBNRadio.com. You are tuned in to my weekly talk radio show out of the Sunset Gower studio. My name is Dr. Marissa and you're listening to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at naturally high noon here at Universal Broadcasting Network. And we're back in the studio. We were fabulous this weekend out at the Conscious Life Expo at the LAX Hilton. And I had a blast. Special thanks to all the people who read my aura, my palm, my career cards, Dr. Theory, D. Wallace, uh, the mom of E.T. And we just had a blast. And especially to the, if I can get it right, the Casilia True Alignment Group, too, for all the work that they did on my back. And they're going to be a sponsor. So we'll talk about them more later and a peace shout out I got the nicest message on LinkedIn this morning from Marciello out and he said Dr. Marissa all of us here in New York City and California love you so I love you all back thank you so much and if you are um, listening on Thursday night you know I am now syndicated on NBC News Radio KCAA AM 1050 so if you're if you uh, have friends who are going to miss today they can always listen on Thursday and it is if you can see from the color and the style of my dress I am wearing a cheap pal because this weekend is not only Valentine's Day, it is Chinese New Year coming up and coming up as the year of the sheep and the ram. So or a goat, <laughs> they they sort of combine those animals. And if you are going to be 12, 24, 36 or 48, this next year is for you. And what they're saying about this next year is it's going to be rich in positive emotions and intoxicating amorous affairs which is why I'm also wearing red because to celebrate Valentine's Day or if you are not with a partner it is single awareness day coming up I brought to you my Valentine's present someone who's been here already three times she's been on Oprah four times and she's now going to be on the Asian Oprah show four times by the way Stay to the end, and the uh, Asian Oprah giveaway is a facial, so stay to the end of the show for that. But let me tell you about one of my favorite guests who gets so much love from Dr. Marissa listeners. She is dubbed the love doctor by the LA Times. Dr. Pat Allen has been on Oprah, as I said, four times. CNN, Geraldo, Maury Povich, KTLA, every news station that you can imagine and is the resident sex therapist on bravo's hit show the millionaire matchmaker patty stanger is a student of hers and and uh, talks about her in fact i had david cruz on here a couple of sexual healing uh, series ago and he was waxing her praise as well her best-selling book getting to i do is in its 30th printing and has helped thousands upon thousands of people all 